Welcome to the Art of Procurement, the official podcast of the Catalyst Co community. And our purpose is to enhance the impact of procurement by elevating the discussion one conversation at a time. Here at Art of Procurement, Catalysts come together every single week to share their challenges, ideas, successes, and perspectives on the business of procurement. Hi there, I'm Philip Eidson and thank you for tuning in to the Art of Procurement today. If you're a regular listener, you'll know that we typically publish an interview every Monday. But this month, we're celebrating Take Action October. So for October only, we're publishing a five-minute daily micropod to help you take action to elevate the influence and the impact of both yourself and your team. If you're joining us midway through this series, listen to episode 204. That will give you more details on Take Action October and the daily five-minute podcast. I also explain the concept of a vehicle in that episode, which in my experience is the single most important factor that determines your ability to translate learnings into action. In today's Take Action podcast, I'm going to share a clip from a conversation with Surab Gupta. Surab is the Chief Research Officer at HFS Research. In this clip, Surab and I were talking about the digitization of procurement, and I asked how we can start to separate the hype from the reality. Uh, But the one thing that I think most organizations should try and do when dealing with technologies is look at a three horizon Mm -hmm. uh, sort of a strategy. Um, Horizon one is stuff that is already mainstream. And you need to act now on that stuff, right? Robotic process automation is a great example of that. I, I don't think there is a question of what is RPA now, but how do I implement it and how do I scale it up and how does it enable these, it's more best practice kind of uh, questions that you should be asking now. And if you're not, then you're becoming a laggard, to be honest. Uh, Then there is Horizon 2, which is more in the realm of artificial intelligence and all its different subcomponents of machine learning, computer vision, NLP, NLG, neural networks, and all Mm -hmm. those kind of things. and and some of them will start to become mainstream in I, I think a couple of years. Right. Uh, and it is important for organizations to not say that I'll I'll go full hog into AI or I'll just ignore it. Mm-hmm. But it's important to pilot and test and experiment and sort of play with it. Yeah. Uh, because very soon it might become the RPA. Yeah. Sooner with the mainstream. So, yeah. Sooner within mm-hmm. the horizon one. And then there's Horizon 3, right, which is which is more R&D stuff, right, yeah. which is more investigative uh, things. And blockchain is a great example of that, right, um, wherein you, you start to sort of investigate that because otherwise I call it the, in a couple of years I call it that you'll have the oh crap moment, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, right, oh crap, I, I wish I had I should have done more something about, about blockchain two yeah. years back and yeah. now I'm, it's just too late yeah. uh, to the game. And I think there's horizon four, five, six, but then let others do that. But mm-hmm. at least these three horizons, if you can start to develop your teams and your strategy to, because you, you're you're right, right? You cannot be an expert in all of them, right. but at least implement something, play with something, and then learn about something. Hi there, it's Phil here again. I love Sarab's walkthrough of the three technology horizons. And today's action item is one that I actually heard while at a recent ProcureCon conference. The CPO of Capital One, Jim Gozalski, explains what he does with his team. He said, just pick one emerging technology or trend. Dig deeper into what that is, what's its disruptive potential, what that means for your company, what it means for your stakeholder, your industry, for procurement, and for your job. But it's all about focusing on one technology. If you have a team, challenge them all to do the same. Again, just pick a single topic. An example that Jim gave was machine learning. By doing that, having everybody on your team then come and report back on what they found, rather than knowing a little bit about everything, you're going to start to build informed positions on the potential impact of these technologies and you can start understanding and working with them rather than it just being something that's a little bit hypothetical or out there in the future. Thanks for joining me for this special Take Action October podcast from the Art of Procurement. 
You can check out today's question by going to artofprocurement.com slash takeaction2018. If the idea of taking small actions on a regular basis is something that resonates with you, I'd love for you to check out the details of our procurement capability development program, the Catalisco platform. The Catalisco platform translates dots into lines. So taking individual pieces of learning, insight, validation, and inspiration, and connecting them to coordinated strategies and actions, that's really important, that elevate your influence and your impact. The Catalisco platform helps procurement professionals all around the world become truly trusted advisors. So if that's something that you would like to check out, visit artofprocurement.com slash TCP. That's artofprocurement.com slash TCP. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another Take Action October daily podcast.